Third and final thing we have to do, and this one gets to be very, this is, this is really tedious. This one is really tedious, I'm not gonna lie. But, oh, is it worth it when you look at it in game. Okay, so in my case of this RGB jersey, the part, the portions of it where you, where this really will matter, obviously it's got the creases. It gives it it gives it a, a better effect a, a shadow and and you know and lighting um, once it's rendered in game so you go you'll go ahead and leave the you know the crease marks on the texture for your sleeves and, and everything else um, obviously your your sponsor if and only if in this case it's a patch that goes sublimated on top or not sublimated but ironed on top of of the of the kit uh whether in this case the lone star national bank it's it's a it's a patch um your your leak patches or in any other patch on uh, that's not a sticker that you can go ahead and actually keep it on this file uh when you're gonna make a map okay your nike the neck um what else your neckline as well the dry fit and the authentic logo. Go ahead and look at it right here. It tends to be a little bit slow. Okay, there we go. See? Okay. Now you're probably thinking, whoa, how come how come you don't how come these are white? The uh, these patches are white. Ja the only reason I have them white is that way um, if you have them regular when you make when you make the, the the bumps, it'll bump the USL thing as well. And this, in the case of the Lone Star National Bank, it'll bump every little change uh, of color. And that's not what you want, because you just, if you just want the patch, you know, something that's elevated, then that's all, all you, you. That's why you you have it one uniform color to avoid those different things. Okay. So uh, you're probably thinking why the stripes aren't. Um, in this kit or in this in this texture and that's because they're they're not they're part they're screen printed on the the kit so they don't need to, to have a bump on it and that's one of the things that, that ea lacks they'll they'll make the bumps based on the regular texture and so things that shouldn't be bumped are bumped and it kind of looks weird okay so then okay so now what you do you you make so you make this uh this uh this file and that so that it's ready to be made into a bump go to save as once again go back to intel uh, to intel's hexer works and save that as a re uh, as if you were saving a regular uh color font or right, not a color font a, a color dds you'll save that and so Maybe you can say you can save it as something like convert to normal kind of thing Let me see if I have something to add convert to normal Okay, so this is this is how it looks like this is how this is how the texture looks like before converting so the first thing that you do is Go to filter Then go down to Nvidia tools which should appear if you do, if you installed the uh, patch correctly or the, the script correctly and then go to normal map filter okay so this is this is how your map will look like kind of thing um, you can go ahead and leave it at, uh, how it is just make sure is invert Y okay um, you're actually what you're gonna do in order to if make it as realistic as possible you'll, and you'll see why it kind of depends especially if you have the jersey with you so you'll go ahead and, and have a better idea how the 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 bump really look, looks like in real life and you you can be able to replicate it <clears throat> and you know with with these bumps and sometimes you have to make and that's what i did with the toros one yeah i had to do the invert y and the invert x versions and kind of mix them mix them together to make it look realistic okay so you press okay and this is what your bump looks like so as you can see right here you you have the the crease lines uh, you have 
This is the, the compression band. Your Lone Star National Bank uh, patch. Your Nike, your Nike logo right here. And then you have you have the Toros, your Toros batch right here. Now, um, here's here's the thing. This is why you, you need to um, probably need to make the Invert X version as well. See how this is supposed to be? This is supposed to be a stitchings on the on the undershirt, but yet it the bump is is going down, not uh, it's not up. So what you need to do is you can go ahead and you save that invert y save it as one file but then in a different file you know go back to your regular your regular um texture go to nvidia tools once again normal map filter but this time have check check invert x see how now the see how now the, this uh, stitching is uh is raised is elevated is bubbled up so you just need to, and in, in the end, uh, actually before you combine them in order to get the desired effect, you make sure you have to, you save them, you save both both files as you go ahead once again, Intel Texture Works, save it, actually you convert normal, okay. Save it, but this time texture type will be normal map and make sure, go back to Frosty, go to normal, your normal kit, uh, texture you can see it's BC5 U norm so make sure it's a linear and the compression is BC5 uh, don't check anything here auto generate MIP maps just to make sure go ahead and use the preview it, it's the right shade of gray or green or whatever that is so you'll press OK uh, go ahead and uh, open it just to make sure okay see there's there's your uh, there's your bump map uh, for your normal file and so then you'll go ahead and install it here in, into the game so when you're ready uh, look the dog so when you're ready make sure you save the project save the project and in order to see the the changes in game you have to launch the game from Frosty. So you launch the game from Frosty, and you'll you'll see you'll see uh, your your changes in effect in kickoff mode. Thank you, thank you all for um, checking out this tutorial on how to make uh, bump maps in FIFA 18. Like I said, it is it can be a really tedious process, but it makes such a difference in game as you can see with these pictures that I'm showing you, and so. If you're able to, if you're able to get this, it's so worth it. It's so worth it. Um, it's really not. I mean, it's simple. It's not easy. It's simple, but it, it does take a while. So, um, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Hope you learned how to do this. Um, hopefully, I'll be able to start um, recording vi FIFA videos for FIFA 18 later what i'm actually waiting for is somebody to crack the data or the, the game that way it doesn't crash whenever you um add new teams add new leaks because i think that's what's going on right now so i can't add the usl uh whether teams players uh leagues and, the, and etc um but i'm hoping that does happen in the f in the future because man fifa 18 with the frostbite engine is so nice and with mods you know much much better so until next time until the next video have a good day uh if i don't release another video have a happy thanksgiving enjoy it with your family and your friends and uh hope to see you next time take care